Hello everyone, this is Janis Makula here at Spellbinders and thank you for joining me today. In this video I'll show you how to use one die to create a number of paper objects to style a wedding. I will be using Filigree Booklet Die by Becca Fikan from the Vintage Elegance Collection. This die set features several dies all designed to create a beautiful little book. You can see it on the screen right now. I wanted to show you the actual project but it was sent to a trade show so I only have a photo to share here. So this die set has a booklet cover die, a booklet body die, and also two decorative insert dies. You will only need one of the inserts for this project. You can also use similar type dies, similar inserts from Spellbinders for this project. The great thing about this die is that it doesn't have an outer edge, so you can cut it in any size paper you like, and you can also cut it multiple times. This is a great die to use for window cards and for shaker elements too. Similar to the decorative insert from the filigree egg die I shared in one of my previous videos. Because this die is rectangular in shape, the pattern can be almost seamlessly continued to create almost any size element you want. You are only limited by the size of your die cutting machine. Here I have a gatefold filigree card cover I die cut out of white paper. I used a letter size cardstock sheet and cut my die 8 times to create this almost lace like paper. After I finished cutting, I simply trimmed my paper to size. Let me show you how this is done. So here I have a sheet of white cardstock and my insert die. I'm going to start in one of the corners, going to tape the die down to the paper and will cut it in my platinum die cutting and embossing machine. Next carefully remove the die, clean it using your tool in one and again position it on your paper continuing the design. Again run through the machine twice, clean the die and repeat. This does take a bit of time, but the result is always stunning. I used gold foil paper and cut a placemat to have under the plates at the dinner table. Next I cut a gatefold piece for the wedding invitation. I only cut the flaps and kept the back of the card solid. This saved me some time as I didn't have to do quite as much die cutting. Here I also used scissors and did a bit of fussy cutting and ended up having a decorative edge on my flaps. I also did the same thing on my gatefold uh, wrap for the RSVP card. This one is smaller in size but also made using the same insert die. I also used this insert to create a little table number card. I only cut it twice here. And finally I cut several decorative wraps for the candles. These were plain battery operated candles. So there is a lot you can do using just one die. Many different projects you can create. If you have any questions about these projects please leave them in the comment section below and be sure to subscribe to Spellbinder's YouTube channel for more education and inspiration. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!